right, Daily Dosers, we are back in 1 Peter today. 1 Peter chapter 1, beginning at verse 10, says this. Concerning this salvation, the salvation that, uh, that Chris was talking about yesterday, that even though we face trials and judgments and persecution, which this is exactly the audience he was speaking to, people undergoing all those things, even though we've experienced all those things, we've got this salvation, there's something bigger than what this world has to offer. But concerning the salvation, this waiting for this Messiah, this Jesus figure to come, concerning the salvation, the prophets, people in the Old Testament looking forward, when is this Jesus going to show up? What's he going to look like? What's he going to act like? The prophets who spoke of the grace that was to come to you, namely Jesus, searched intently and with the greatest care, trying to find out the time and circumstances to which the Spirit of Christ in them was pointing when predicted the sufferings of the Messiah and the glories that would follow. It was revealed to them that they were not serving themselves but you when they spoke of the things that had now been told to you by those who have preached the gospel to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven. Even angels long to look into these things. So what it's saying is these prophets took really great care and so many people at this point were claiming to be the Messiah. So they really had to stick to scripture instead of following what is the biggest fad, what is the next upcoming movement, they said, let's go back to the scripture and say, what did the Bible say this guy's gonna look like? What did, they, what did they say this guy was gonna do? What was he gonna claim? I think this is a really important message for us here in 21st century America or wherever you're watching this from. The climate of our world right now says, if it feels right, if it feels good, if it makes sense, if it's financially more compatible, if it's more beneficial to your wallet, your checkbook, or to your future, it's probably okay. So sometimes, because we have that overwhelming feeling or because our heart says so, we tend to do things without searching the word like these people did. Just, just think of meticulously turning page by page to really search the heart of God. What does God think about this topic? I think sometimes we don't want to know exactly what the Bible says on it because sometimes it brings a level of conviction we weren't necessarily ready for. What I want to give you today, maybe you're going through an issue where you're leaning on your own understanding or, or maybe you're you're coming up with a, a big decision, or maybe there's a theological question that you even have. And let me give you two things, just as way of thumb, uh, rules of thumb to help negotiate those things. The first one being, the Bible is the ultimate revelation of God's will for our life and his understanding of everything. That's the whole question of theology in general. Theology is a fancy word. It means, what is God like? And what does God think about blank? We want to search the scripture. That's going to be the best thing that's going to tell us. After that, second rule of thumb, is there a godly counsel in your life? Is there someone that's walking with the Spirit? That means doing things that Jesus would have someone do, that they know the Bible and they're well attuned to it, that you can check your thoughts with them. Sometimes we get so lenient on, well, how do you feel? What do you feel like is right in your heart? And Jeremiah warns us very starkly in the Old Testament that the heart is deceitful above all things and beyond repair. So we have to be careful when we're trying to make big decisions either for our family or when it comes to a sin issue or maybe it's a sin issue in the Bible, but we feel like today, well, maybe there's a little bit of a leeway on it. Two rules of thumb. What does the entire Bible say on that topic? Secondly, what does godly counsel say on that topic? And if we're answering any of those questions with, well, I just feel like, or I just think like, there's probably a good chance we're not turning to what the Bible says about it. So, if you find yourself in a similar position as these prophets turning the pages of scripture, trying to find exactly the heart of God on it, let's make sure that we're letting him speak first and foremost into all the gray areas of our life so we can firmly plant ourselves in a decision that we know is gonna be inside of the will of God. Hopefully, with whatever you're dealing with, that's been helpful for you today. We'll see you guys tomorrow.